Do you have a friend that just can't stop talking about the new Pixel phone? Well, there is a lot to like about the clean, bloatware-free approach of stock Android, but there are some interesting features you'll miss out as well. Here are some of the most useful features we found in custom Android skins on popular non-Google smartphones. Since Android 5.0 Lollipop, we've had access to multi-user mode on Android. Coolpad phones that run a custom Android skin dubbed Cool UI makes an interesting use of this feature with fingerprint user binding. Say somebody other than you in your house uses the phone. Create a user account for that person and bind their fingerprint from the settings menu and bind yours as well. Now, when you unlock the phone with your finger, your data shows up. And if the other person unlocks the phone with their finger, a completely new user profile opens with no access to your data, apps or notifications. Now that's smart, right? The fingerprint scanner isn't just useful for unlocking the phone or apps. You can also use it as a shutter button for your camera. For example, Lee Eco phones let you click photos by simply tapping on the fingerprint scanner to take a shot. Apple iPhone users may find themselves familiar with Control Center that's available on phones made by Gioni and Lenovo. A swipe from the bottom reveals quick toggles for commonly used settings. Only thing is, unlike iPhones, you have to be careful of not hitting the menu buttons at the bottom accidentally. OnePlus 3 runs Oxygen OS, which although looks like stock Android in appearance, actually has some interesting add-ons. For one, you can customize the actions on the two soft keys on either side of the fingerprint scanner. Or, if you don't like using them, you can switch to the on-screen buttons altogether. Samsung's TouchWiz often receives hatred for being gaudy and bloated. But hey, they've got some cool useful tricks up their sleeves as well. For one, you can choose your most frequently used settings to be shown at the top of the settings screen. Also, whenever a call gets disconnected, there are shortcuts to call that person back or leave a text message. Very intuitive indeed. Xiaomi, a company known for their highly customized version of Android called MIUI, has many of the features mentioned in this video. But here are two we'd like to highlight. First is built-in call recording, a great feature for journalists or any person actually. You can record calls by simply tapping the button on the call screen. Next, there is a one-handed mode, which shrinks the UI on big screen phones down to a smaller size, so you can use the phone easier with one hand. Lenovo's U-Touch lets you do cool stuff like customize gestures for the fingerprint scanner. For example, swipe left or right on it to multitask between apps quickly. Or you can long press the home button to summon the notification drawer instead of pulling it down from the top of your screen. The new Honor phones have a fingerprint scanner that is also a button, so you can customize it to perform one of the many actions offered. Ever since 2011, Motorola has had some very easy to use gestures built into their phones and now almost every Moto device has them. Out of these, the double twist to launch the camera or chop twice to turn on the flashlight are our favorite. We also like how you can wave over the screen to see the most recent notifications. If you take a lot of screenshots, Oppo phones have a three-finger pull-down gesture to capture a screenshot instead of pressing down two buttons to take one. Also, the panorama selfie mode lets you capture a wider photograph from the front camera. This can be useful while taking those group fees. Lastly, HTC phones for long have let you sort apps in the app drawer either by alphabetical order, most recently used, or a custom app arrangement like the iPhone. So, which are the other features you found useful that aren't mentioned in this video? Sound off in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this in your inbox. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Gadgets360. Goodbye and have a nice day.